What if I told you you could share your screen with AI? <laughs> they can see your screen. help you in real time. I see another question asking what Crayola crayons are made of. And it's all for free. But how accurate will it be? Let's find out. Also subscribe, please. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to stream real time, and then you can go to share your screen, and then you can choose what you wanna share. Let's allow, use my microphone. Boom, window, share. Okay. So I pulled up like two different questions. I did some trivia and then I also did like some coding questions so you can see like how it does with easy and medium type questions. So yeah, let's see. Okay, hey. Okay, so you used a chatbot to answer trivia and coding questions. Oh wait, no, 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 sorry. I was uh, talking to YouTube. Anyway, I wanted to know if you can answer this question for me. Sure, I can answer that question for you. The wardrobe leads to Narnia in C.S. Lewis's The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Would you like to ask me another question? Yeah, what about this one? Okay, I see another question asking what Crayola crayons are made of. The answer is wax. Would you like me to answer the next question? Yeah, let's do it. All right, the next question asks, which of the following graphs is a circle? The answer is pie chart. Do you want to continue with the next one? Yeah, let me scroll a little bit. Let's do... Uh... This one's interesting. Can you help me with this? Of course, the answer season is daytime the longest is summer. Do you want to answer the next one? Yeah, let's switch over to this one. I have some coding questions I need help with. Okay, I see a multiple choice question about what the result of executing a given code will be. The correct answer is B. The value of the number will be printed exactly one time. Would you like me to help with any more of these questions? Um, so it says it was incorrect. You're right, I apologize for the mistake. It appears that line three would be true since the number isn't less than five, meaning the number would be printed five times. The correct answer is D. The value of the number will be printed exactly five times. Would you like me to explain why? Oh, so that was wrong as well. Yes, it looks like I made a mistake and the correct answer is D. Would you like me to go through the logic step by step? Um, yeah, go, go through it step by step. Okay, let's go through the code step by step. The program starts by setting the variable number equal to five. Then it enters a while loop, which continues as long as the number variable is less than five. Inside the loop, it has an if statement, checking if the number is also equal to five. And if it is, it changes the number by adding one to it and prints the new value of the number. Because number starts at five, the while loop condition will be false at the start. So it will not enter the loop, but it will enter the if statement block and print the number once. So then the number wait, is... so five, it says if five is less than or equal to five. So isn't five equal to five? So it like would go in the while loop. You're absolutely right. My apologies, I got mixed up. The while loop condition is that the number should be less than five, not less than or equal to. The while loop condition will be false the first time since the number equals five. Therefore, the loop will never be executed. The correct answer is C. The while loop will never get executed. Would you like me to go through it again? No, I think it's A, because if the number is equal to five, while five is less than or equal to five, five is equal to five, so it would go in the while loop. If five is less than five, five is not less than five, so then it would actually print five, right? So then if it prints five, then it will keep going through this. So I think the program will loop indefinitely. You're right, I apologize for the repeated errors. The while loop is while number less than five. Since the number starts at five, the while condition is false and the loop won't execute at all, which means the program will never print anything. The correct answer is C. The while loop will never get executed. Yo. <laughs> It, I, I, okay, okay. 
Can we do the next one? Should we do the next one? I don't know. <laughs> that's maybe. Uh, okay, I'll give you one more chance. Let's see if there's one that's a little simpler. Let's do this one. Can we do question nine? Okay, let's do question nine. It asks which type of loop can be used to perform the following iteration. You choose a positive integer at random and then print the numbers from one up to and including the selected integer. The answer is A, a for loop or a while loop. Would you like to go on with another question? Yes, okay, let's do, you're doing good now. <laughs> let's do question two. Okay, let's look at question two. It asks what the following code will print and the code uses a while loop to add the counter to the sum. The counter is incremented by two on each loop and it stops when counter is equal to six. The correct answer is nine. Would you like to do the next one? Yes, let's do the next one. Okay, let's move on to question three. This question asks what will be printed by the following code when it executes. The code iterates through a list and adds each number to the sum. The correct answer is D, 16. Do you want to continue with the next one? Yeah, let's continue. You're doing great. Thanks. Let's do question four. It asks what the last thing printed is when the code is run, and the code uses a while loop that continues until the number is less than 10. In that loop, the code prints the current number. The correct answer is A, number 10. Would you like to try the next one? No, we're good. Thank you so much for your help. You're very welcome. I'm glad I could help. Feel free to reach out if you have more questions in the future. Y'all, we did that. Did you see how it was tripping with that one question? So then over here too, it kind of gives you like a history of everything that y'all talked about. Like it even has your voice too. Boom, window, share. This is what I was me talking to y'all. But um, yeah, it like has the what I was sharing on my screen. So yeah, be careful what you're sharing on your screen because they, they can see it and all that stuff. And it's free, so I bet the reason why it's free is because you know like Google is going to be using us as our as their guinea pigs and things like that. So yeah, but take advantage. I think this is so cool. Okay, so what did y'all think? I think this is one of the craziest AI tools that we have seen so far. I did a first impressions of this. Hey there, what would you like to talk about today? And I didn't post it just because the whole video, I was just gagged. I was like, wow, wow. Oh, we cooked. This is crazy. I just got chills. That was crazy. Like, I don't know how many times I said wow. And I'm like, I think I'm too annoying. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what other AI tools you want me to check out. If you like these reviews of different technology, it's not just going to be AI as well. I want to review a whole bunch of different stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.